Right. So I don't quite know why that's not showing. There we go. If there again, if there are any issues with the sounds, do let me know and I can make sure that I accommodate everybody. So I'm just having to work around a cat. So if I make any adjustments to the brightness of I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure they're fine. The vertical lines are visible. Well, they're visible at level 3 anyway. Vibration's on. I don't know what auto load is. I'm guessing that's if you die, it just automatically loads your last save. Controller conf config. Okay, action, aim, light, run. View, step left, step right. Oh, so it's got the Tomb Raider sidestepping controls. Fair enough. Uh, item map option. Fair dues, fair dues. Maximilians, love Silent Hill. I love Silent Hill too. I think it's one of my favourite, um, my favourite um, video game experiences. I can see why people love that particular game, for sure. Um, and I do feel like Silent Hill, like the first one, is kind of in dire need of an update, and not shattered memories where it completely takes anything to do with the story, and just just does its own thing. I've heard, I've seen some very interesting things about Shattered Memories. Um, but I'm going into this partially blind. I know kind of what happens. I've been watching videos about the whole series and stuff like that. But um, yeah, this is something I'm very much looking forward to playing. So without further ado, let's go do this. Uh, I'm not going to do it on hard. I am going to do it on normal because I want to give myself at least a bit of a chance. A bit of a chance. Man, I'm hyped for Thursday. Hyped for Thursday? Cool. Is that um, because of my stream, or have you got something else planned? Harry Mason runs like a douche the game. Resident Hill. <laughs> so the premise of the game is that... Actually, I think what we should probably do is if I just start this again, so you can see the intro video, otherwise, because it, it kind of provides some greater context to the whole point of what your, your purpose of why you're in Silent Hill and what you are doing there. So let me just load that up. Apologies, everybody. Right, here we go. Good old retro arch. There are violent and disturbing images in this game. Remember those warnings that we used to get in games? Seems quite cute nowadays, doesn't it? Oh. Good luck, thank you, Colton. Oh, Colton's here, holy shit. How you doing, buddy? The fear of blood tends to create fear of the flesh. Just in case you couldn't read that text. So that's Harry Mason and his wife. They find a daughter. They find they find like a daughter by the side of the road, essentially, and they take her in, and they name her Cheryl. She's quite important to this story, and this is going to kind of give you a kind of montage of different upcoming events and characters that we'll bump into in this game. Plus, the music's just fucking great. <laughs> Who's playing that music? I'm trying to have a flashback. They find a daughter on the roadside. Basically, they kind of do, Trizcat. Hello, Norsk. Thank you very much for the, the extra sub. 26 months now. Hello, Norsk. Much love. How you doing? Sister Zen driving to have a holiday. And, um... As we all probably know by now, things aren't going to go as simply and as straightforwardly as we'd hoped. Yeah, Akira Yamioka's music is fucking amazing. Like, Silent Hill 2's soundtrack um, is something that I've actually listened to on and off since I've played the game. It's really good. It's really nice and chill and obviously terrifying when it wants to be. Hello, Rap Wins. Have you shaved your chest yet? Have you, Rap? Have you? <laughs> There's Sybil Bennett. <laughs> oh no, her boobs be bandaged. 
You'll be also pleased to know, everybody, that I am... I've finished another video script. So unfortunately not 2013, but... Um, the next television on Sabatu's Tomb Raider 1 is already in the works. And I've recorded... I spent all of yesterday, which was effectively my weekend, recording it. So they see a girl in the middle of the road, they swerve to avoid it, and since then, from that point onwards, this is where the game picks up. Here we go. You've got context, everybody. I would want to not provide you context for this particular game. Oh, sorry, cat. <laughs> Gotta love that. Better keep it and don't call the po the popo or child services and that. Yeah. <laughs> shh. Shh. <laughs> Yeah, he does, he does run a bit weird, doesn't he? Good old Harry. Harry Mason. It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Not as much voice acting by the looks of it. Okay. Cheryl. Pingus. Cheryl Pingus. Yes, that will be my daughter's name. <laughs> Carry on the family tradition. So let's just double back a bit so I can actually explore some stuff. How do I turn around? Can I 180? Yeah, both shoulder buttons together. Gotcha. Okay. Just getting used to the controls before I dip into hell. <laughs> Are the sound effects supposed to be, like, the music's supposed to be all kind of weird and staticky? I'm guessing it is, isn't it? Oh no, not the Harrymobile! My car. Too banged up to drive. Where's Cheryl? I hope she's safe. Yeah, they did that on purpose. I thought so, Hasta. Just checking it wasn't an emulator problem. <laughs> Look at that fucking backwards jump. Ah! 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 <laughs> That'll buff right out. Oh, mate, no worries. Yeah, just get a bit of tea cut. It'll be fine. Shout out to anyone who knows what tea cut is. Oh, oh, it's oh. Bye-bye, cat. The cat has finally left the lap. He's on the chest. Harry Mason, clearly not an athletic man. Has to catch his breath after a, after a light, light jog. I can't get over the gimp masks. I'm sorry. I can should we go, be able can to. We, can we? Can we go into here? No, we can't. Not yet. Clonk, 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 clonk. Oh, okay. This, this, this place looks open. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, says Harry Mason in a womanly voice. Footsteps? Footsteps? Boba Fett? Ventus, what are you doing down there? Ah, oh, Cheryl, come back! Oh, there is voice acting in this. Okay. It's just used very sparingly. Where are you going? Hey, wait. Stop. Okay, fair enough. What are you doing, Ven? That's your own tail. He's chasing his own tail. Come back, surrogate daughter. It is I, Dad Man. <laughs> Survival, uh, survival horror John Arbuckle. Oh, no, wait, that was James Sunderland, wasn't it, that we called him before? Shout out to anyone who remembers that. Nope, I have not played three. But I will do. Uh, I might sort of make this as an excuse to go through the series. Well, the good part, the good ones at least, up to four. And there he goes. How does the save system work? That's a very good question. I think there are save points like there were in 2. You can't just quick save. 
Haven't got a map for this place. That makes sense. Clump, 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 clump. <laughs> Harry's has some handsome cheekbones. Oh. Oh, wait, Cheryl, come back. Oh, no, not beware of the dog. I know what that means. I've played Resident Evil before. Oh, sh... Oh, shitting hell. Wow. Um, okay, so that's how we're starting this. Okay, cool. <laughs> what... What is this? That's... That's quite horrific. What the fuck did that? Need some safe crystals. Yeah, right, rap. Ooh, funky camera work. This is the type of camera work I really, really hope is in the remake of 2. I hope it's not just Resident Evil 4 style camera. So we walk down an alleyway. Uh, no, Biohazard is the only series with typewriters as save points. That's strange, it's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. I suppose so. Broken wheelchair? What on earth is this doing here? What's this? What is this? A non-smoker having a lighter. How? Well, I guess you, if you're going outdoors, you've got to be prepared. What is this? You. What's going on? Hi, Grandma. Here? What's for dinner? What lovely teeth you have? Ah! No! No! I have no weapon. Get no! Ah! <laughs> No, no, no! <laughs> ah! Run, Harry, run as fast as your dodgy little legs will carry you! Ah, get off me, children! No! Oh, I died! Oh, fuck. Oh. How the fuck was I supposed to defend myself from- Oh, okay, it was- Oh, You got me. <gasps> Hello, it's me, Officer Cuddles. <laughs> Was I dreaming? <laughs> Sam, I'm in Silent Hill, Sam! Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm alright, I guess. Harry Mason, Generic Protagonist Glad 101. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Tell me with your big boy words. Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. A tourist? I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> a terrorist? What? I'd like to find out myself. We all like to discover ourselves in various different ways, Harry. Now's not the time. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. And these powerful thighs, am I right? Is everybody. <laughs> I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. <laughs> She'd be like, are you local? Do you come here often? That's all I know. Hmm. 
What's your name? Harry. Harry. Harry Mason. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. Hello, Bentipus. What are you doing? I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. Ah, I heard they have a fantastic lullaby over there. The phones are all dead. Think about and radio it. Radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. My daughter? No way. <laughs> no way! It's dangerous out there. I must give you this firearm. Please. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. Girl? I can't just I've seen League of Gentlemen and know these kind of conversations go. <laughs> Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. <laughs> oh, sorry! <laughs> and don't do it unless you have to. Hey, Uncharted, welcome. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Not unless you want me to. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Thanks, I'll take this polygonal gun. Thanks. I'll put it in my ass for safekeeping. Do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. <laughs> okay, cool. So we now have a gun. We have a means to defend ourselves. Equip. Hangar received from Sybil. Holds up to 15 rounds. Fantastic. I don't have a map to this place. Okay, so that's that's aim. Or ready weapon, I should say. Health drink. Yes, I will definitely take it. Flashlights. What if you didn't take the flashlight? Is that is that a thing? Could you go through this entire of this the entirety of this game in darkness? Is that even a possibility? Someday, someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they will find my notes useful. Aha! Save points. There we go. Now saving. So there's your answer, Tyranitor. Notepads. The typewriter of the layman. Um, actually, Steve, it's not a flashlight, it's a mechanic. Monsters often won't see you when it's dark. Yes, that's true. Um, that was true in two. But it'd be much harder. I can imagine in my first playthrough just going through the... F going through without the flashlights as an option. Oh, there's a knife here too, okay. Health drink, yes. Kitchen knife. Hi, I'm Derek Bum, I'm here to talk to you about kitchen knife. <laughs> Did that poster say study, damn it? Hang on, let me just pick this thing up from the from the table. A radio, is it broken? I can't hear anything. I think that does. Yeah, it's I think legitimately that poster says study, damn it. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Oh, a map. A residential map area. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Flying winged beastie. Is it gonna smash through the window? Why can't I pick up the radio? Ah, that's why. What's that? What is it? Huh, radio. Who puts posters like that What's in a bar? I don't know. Me? I don't know. No spoilers, by the way. No spoilers in the chat, please. Oh God, Jesus! This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Got attacked by a winged bat demon thing? I will take the pocket radio for sentimentality to remember this moment. 
<laughs> Surprise! Oh, um, Derek Bum is from a British comedy sketch. Uh, it's the name of a character that's impersonating Barry Scott, the Silip Bang person. I realize that joke might be lost on a few of you. <laughs> Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again. It's basically the Atlanteans that just don't blow up. True, true that, true that. Here, I've marked Cheryl on my map. Yep, Harry still walks like a doofus. It's time to explore, everybody. Okay, so Cheryl's there. Let's just, just do some light exploring. See what I can find. I know about Sillet Bang. Yeah, cool. Just checking. Not everyone does. I don't know how transatlantic that particular um, person in that advert is. Like the ShamWow people, that's very much an American-only thing. Ah, run away! I'm gonna try my best to conserve ammunition, at least until I find a melee weapon so I can beat people to death with. Oh, radio's giving me some creepy vibes. Is this the first time- this is the first time you've ever experienced a Silent Hill game? Oh, just wait till I play through two again, because that's gonna blow your mind, honestly. Okay. Just run away from the winged beastie. Pipe run only on two. I remember I was watching through some of that because I've got like um, those streams archived on my channel. I was watching through some of it, and I remember a challenge you set me where I had to use the like the pyramid head knife for like the rest of the game or for particular boss fights. That thing absolutely canes it. I still don't know to this day how I got the leave ending. I should have got in water. I'm pretty certain. But I got, like, the quote-unquote best ending, or the the, hap the air quotes happiest one, if that's even a possibility. Here we go. Abuse the questionable hit detection, yes. I plan on doing that, for sure. I think the only, um, reason, um, Casty- Oh god, there's a dog! Demon dog! Would be to rescue his daughter. But even then, that's not limited <laughs> to that criteria. Need a pipe, or a wooden pole, or some kind of melee weapon. Yeah, so I've seen the dog ending. Of course I've seen the dog ending, ending for two. I've never got it legitimately, but I have seen it. Sketchbooks. This picture, it's me. The first picture that Cheryl drew in her sketchbook that I gave for her fifth birthday. Oh. Can I pick it up, maybe? Instead of just being sentimental, me like, right, that's it. I don't need to pick this up. To school. Ah, guess where Cheryl's going, I guess. Oh, thank you very much for the five bits there, Sonata. Is it the Cheryl sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. Hmm. My powers of deduction have surmised that she might be at the school that's labelled in the note that says, To school. <laughs> Harry Mason, the greatest detective since Batman. Oh, um, by the way, rest in peace Kevin Conway, by the way. That sucked hearing about that. Really did suck. I think he was a lot of people's forever Batman. So we can't crawl through a gap because he's Harry Mason. Badass single father. Oh, handgun bullets. Yes, I'll take the 
casual ammo that's just left here, because this is America, after all. Can't walk two, two meters in America without finding some kind of ammunition on the floor. Is the, is the 26, 2006 film, the first Silent Hill film, any good? I know that it uses, like, the bubblehead nurses. Oh, shit. Whoa! Um, and pyramid heads, when really they should only exist in James's version of Silent Hill, but is it any good? You think it's great, honestly? Fantastic. Run away! From the winged spawns of Satan. It's mid-tier last, I recall. Eh, that's fair enough. That's the impression I kind of got, honestly. One of the better video game adaptations, you say? Ah, okay. Gets out of the way. The second one is utter shite. Yeah, no, I've seen stuff about um, Revelations. It was like they tried to adapt, um, adapt Silent Hill 3, and they did it so poorly that everybody hated it. Kit Harrington's weirdly enough in that. Like a really young pre-Game of Thrones Kit Harrington plays, um, plays one of the characters in that. Vincent, isn't it? It's like everyone's horrendously miscast in that. Oh, I am going the complete wrong way. Oh, well, let's roll with it, see what happens. That alarm noise is definitely... It's a good way to keep you on your toes, that's, that's for sure. Some bullets. Okay, cool. What's that in the back of the car? There's a key of lion. Okay. I don't know how that's going to affect me going forward, so whether or not I've preempted the need to go back and get something later, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Stumbled upon a key, mate. Science, bitch! Yes! <laughs> Naruto running. Yeah, could you imagine Harry <laughs> Harry Mason? I almost said Harry Hill then. Harry Mason, Naruto running across Silent Hill. Get away. Need that key pretty soon. Oh, that was quite good. Then I decided to keep going with my exploration. Old Silent Hill. This isn't the side with Toluca Lake, is it, from 2? This is like the north side of Silent Hill. I, is that right? Hello, Mighty Johnny. Really enjoyed Silent Hill 2. Uh, that was a, the definitive iteration and also the final word in the um, Silent Hill sequels for me. Fair enough. I take it you've not played 3 then. I've heard 3's pretty damn good. Oh. There's a big ass hole in the floor. That's not going to help. I'm open minded to the remake. I'm open-minded because at the end of the day, no matter what, I can still play the original game with the definitive, with the enhanced edition on PC. Because basically, you can find the PC version for free to download and um, just enhance it with that. But yeah, they need to make it more readily available. For sh that's that's definitely for sure. Oh, for fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! <laughs> Oh, bam! Am I going the wrong... I'm going back the way I came, right? It looks like it. Is 
So that's a first aid kit. Okay. Ow. For fuck's sake, get away. You have a cool theory. Okay, what's your theory? Your game theory. Hit like a baseball in flight. Yes. Expert skills. Get away. Croft Rider, hello. Sturv. <laughs> Sturv, hello. Welcome. Oh my goodness, this Sunny road is out. For simple pleasures. Silent Hill, for simple pleasures. So we can't go that way, because that, that way too is out. Ow. Where Harry Potter's last um, year at Hogwarts brother? takes place in 1998. Silent Hill was released in 1999, so probably it takes place then. My theory is Harry Mason is Harry Potter. If, if that's the it's case, then why does he why does he suck at casting spells? Why do I need a lead pipe? Why can't I just go exper Expelliarmus? I did it, everybody! I recreated the meme! Yes! Fantastic! Hang on. I've got, I've got to capture this. Oh my god, hang on. Um... I think I did it, everybody. Yep, I got it. Just making sure I got evidence of my pro <laughs> evidence of my my multi my, my monumentous achievement. There's probably a, probably a dog house though. I'm not sure since there's no dog around and there's a dog just literally just kind of like Aah! behind him. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. There we go. Worth it. 100% worth it. Run away from all the doggos. Holy crap, how long does this street keep going for? Come on! And I can't go that way. Because the road is out. Lots of broken roads in Silent Hill. Lots and lots and lots. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Just scratching my back. Hmm. Right, fine. I guess if Silent Hill 2 Remake does well, then they may remake the others. Hopefully, for the franchise's sake. More for Silent Hill 2's sake than anything else that I hope Bloober Team don't fuck it up. Random thing, though. I didn't realise that Comrade Majusk, um works for Bloober Team. That's a thing. I didn't realise like a member of the TR community that we know of, has, who has like worked on some cool, like cool mods and projects for the series, is working on Bloober, um, on Bloober with Bloober on um, Silent Hill 2, which is pretty mad. Miyuski. I hope that's better. Steve makes a totally original meme. Honest. <laughs> I mean, Silent Hill 2 Remake graphics seem really shoddy. Really? I don't think they look shoddy. I think they just look like really Unreal Engine 5-y. You know? Gotta keep going. More or less, closer to how it should be read anyway. I apologise for getting names wrong. I do try. It's very difficult for such a, a rubbish Englishman like me. 
Yeah, I know we've got some other Silent Hill projects, haven't we? We've got Silent Hill F or Forte, which is all set in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Like 1960s Japan, which is interesting. How that's going to tie it into the Silent Hill lore, I have no idea. But yeah, I'm not, I'm just, it's an exciting time, an interesting time to be a Silent Hill fan. And I'm all for it, really. The series has been dead for too long. Okay, that doesn't work there. Can't go through there. Silent Hill The Last of Us. Silent Hill 4 play. Okay. No worries. Welcome back. They do give you a lot of ammunition. Is that a precursor to them not giving you much more later? That's that's an in, gonna be an interesting thing, for sure. What's the cat doing? Sorry, I can hear banging in the next room. What's cat? The puss cat is okay. Silent Hill Fall Guys. I'm waiting for there to be a collaboration either with Fall Guys or with um, Fortnite. If they somehow put Pyramid Head or James Sunderland into Fortnite, that's going to be... That's going to be definitely a thing. <laughs> and I, of course, will 100% be doing... Be buying those characters so I can make him do the floss and piss everybody else off. <laughs> you can't do that. It's such a secret franchise. No, I can. Like, the, what they should do if they ever do a Silent Hill collaboration is they should totally make Pyramid Head a boss that you fight in the in the map, like they did with Darth Vader. They've really henched up Pyramid Head in the movie and, like, from the from the Western games onwards. Like, Pyramid Head's actually not that buff at all in 2. But, like, in the movies, he's just, like, some kind of walking triangular daddy. It's, it's quite insane. And the amount of times I've seen art on Twitter when I've been scrolling through of Pyramid Head's, like well-toned ass as well it's just like yeah you definitely know that he's fallen into the thirst trap category i already ruined kratos by making him dance like megan the stallion are oh, fantastic do you know what i'm surprised at i'm surprised because god of war's out that they haven't brought him back to the store seems like it'd be a a, a right opportunity to do that oh it's, what is this Someone's dropped their Garfield comics on the floor. Doghouse, Levin Street. Oh, so we have to go back to the doghouse where we just were. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the doghouse then. I'm trying to remember where that was. Sorry, I know I'm switching to the map screen quite a bit, but, um... You can probably understand why. Did I walk past it? Wait, hang on, it was Levin Street, wasn't it? That's what I thought. Trust me, you'll be doing that a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> Pyramid Daddy. Yeah, it is, basically. A house key was hidden in the doghouse. Because I couldn't use my eyes before until a fucking piece of paper that I randomly found somewhere else told me to do so. <laughs> I kid. It's total video game logic. I don't have a problem with it. It's just funny. Oi! Bad doggo. Let's go into the house, everybody. Ooh, spooky. It's the spooky house!
Actually, can I, can I equip the kitchen knife? Is that something I can... I can. Hard to use, but better than nothing. I'm gonna go for the- I'm gonna go for the pipe because it's longer range. To be fair, this beginning is the longest you'll spend wandering around the town in the game. Um, there's a movie in this game heavily inspired Jacob's Ladder. Yes, I've yet to see it, but I know that Jacob's Ladder is definitely- And Twin Peaks as well is a big influence on this series, um, early on. It's locked. Excuse me, good sirs and madams, I'm Harry Mason. Private Eye. <laughs> I'm here to look at your fine wares. Who's in the doghouse? You. You. Yeah, there's lots of handgun bullets. I've... And another one. This, this really is an American town. Look at it. Look at all the surplus. Oh my god, look at that CRT. The height of technology in the 90s. We've reached it. We've reached it. That's a 4K TV in um, 1990 logic. Must be in Texas. Isn't um, the town of Silent Hill supposed to be set in Maine? Isn't that where it's it it's supposed to be? Health drink. The refrigerator is empty. I searched it thoroughly. With my eyes through the wall. More like 8K at this point. Can I look at this? Yes, I can. Something is written on the map hanging on the wall. Keys for Eclipse. Oh, we've... Well, we've already gone and, gone and done that. That's cool. Yo, thank you, Sonic Sean 34 Welcome to Silent Hill. Aha! I knew that would save me backtracking, but there are two locks. Shit. No. Stephen King. Uh, don't right, so... Okie doke. In Steve's case, it's 14k, am I right? Am I right? What the fuck is going on? Is there an upstairs I can, I can explore, maybe? It's locked. My monkey brain says just smash the door. Yeah, you would think so. You would think that he would try shoulder barging it in some way. <laughs> Fucking dog. Boom! <laughs> Did you see how far that... That flew. Landed all the way over there. That's <laughs> amazing. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> Harry looks just about as sturdy as a soggy biscuit. Ugh. You know what that is, right? Based off a town in Pennsylvania, you believe? Ah. It's where American Dracula lives, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I don't know what you're implying, Cyan Jin, but uh, <laughs> I thought that would be a given. <laughs> Thank you, home, for home spirit, mood spirit. This game looks like a modern indie indie project now. I guess it kind of does, doesn't it? There's a lot of dithering in this, a lot of dithering. Oh, for a hundred percent. I love it. This sort of thing doesn't phase me.
And down it goes. <laughs> Fair enough. I uh, know you've already said this, but how long am I going to play? What, today? I normally play until about um, half past nine, so we've got about just over an hour and a half left. Centrilla, a town that's been burning since 1962. I don't know the story, actually. You might have to give me a history lesson on that. Why am I lazy? How dare you? <laughs> I dare you accuse me of such things. <laughs> I'm mean or lazy. Me just have work in the morning, sadly. So I've already got one key, but there's a that, that lock's got like that door's got three locks. Is it to do with like some like um, there's like sulfur or something always under underground? I might have heard of it a while back, but... Coal. Okay. Down, boy. There is a Silent Hill-themed um, level set, actually. I have not played it. It's all in German, the voice acting. I, f I think I did see some footage of it. I'm gonna go back to the car, and if there's another key in there, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? Hey, Jay, thank you very much for the resub there, dude. Evening all, uh, wow, is it? It's like how it looked around here yesterday. Draw distance turned right down. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, I've already got the key, so I'm just trying to think where the fuck I've got to... The dog's been fetching the keys. Where have I got to go next? Yeah, all good so far. Not too bad. How's um, Laurie and Bubs? They doing okay? <laughs> he does run like he does need a poo, doesn't he? Good old Harry Mason. What happens when you teach your kids to lock the doors behind them? You gotta go fetch quests to go for the missing keys. <laughs> Can't go through there. Okay. Bubs and Laurie good, just having a uh, Hobbitathon. Just reading it to him in bed. He's loving Smaug and Gaun Gandalf. Nice. Imagine the books are a hundred times better than the film. No parking at any time. Okay, best of luck for me trying to get that. Um, hmm. Where am I on the map? Okay, there. So obviously I've got to use this house to go through to get to the other uh, the road. Where do I find the other keys? Unless it's just a, something as dumb as I've got to use the same key multiple times. On the same lock. By the way, don't be afraid to use the gun. The game gives you loads of ammo. I guess it's just a habit. <laughs> hmm. 
What does that mean? I know I've unlocked one of these, but where are the rest of the keys? Where would I find them? That's what I've got to find next. Oh, hang on. Why have I been recording? <laughs> so, so Deo, thank you very much there for the follow. Me so Deo. <laughs> There's a TV set. The power must be out. It doesn't work. I think TR4 was made in the same year as this game. I feel this game is so behind it graphically. Um, wait until you see the FMVs, mate. <laughs> They were definitely ahead of their time with the FMV quality. Okay. Okay. So, here's the thing, right? I've got one key from that particular map that was on the wall. The only other places I can go to... I mean, I don't know why quite there's that particular squiggle around um, Elroy Street. Um, it seems almost like there should be something there, but every time I've been there, it's just been some kind of winged prick. <laughs> yeah, the fog was used to hide graphical limitations, but it then became a serious staple. It's just not the same without it. You're the first one to pick up that parallel with my name. Ah, fantastic. Yo, Grace Croft, thank you very much for resubscribing. Thank you so much. Welcome, by the way. Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, and then two, HD and 2 and 3 came out. Oof. Yeah, they really butchered... They really butchered Silent Hill 2 and 3 in that HD collection. Big fan of the Tomb Raider review series. Um, thank you for putting all that work into those. Still am. Don't worry. I've been working on the script for 2013 today. 60 pages. 60 pages and I've yet to talk about the end game. You know? The actual end of the game. But thank you. Another Trolley Vision's coming out soon, so you've got that to look forward to at least. Steve, the key is here. There's a plank on that I can walk on to the right. Oh, holy shit, are you kidding me? Okay. Wow. Key of the Scarecrow. Sure. Thanks for the heads up. I would never have gotten that. <laughs> Still excited for the next retrospective? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I've played two. I've not completed Broken Sword 2, but I have played it. Sorry, just two seconds to get some water. Study the map! Right. Thank you, everyone. 
Yes, this is indeed a map. So we've got the key. We've got the second key. Third key, however. Lord knows where that is. Check out the convenience store, see if you can see it on the map. There are goodies. Goodies inside. Okay. Let's go for the convenience store. Studying, are you, AC? Study hard. <laughs> With a vengeance. Be gone, winged spawn of Satan! Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave! Get him trapped in the trees, yes! Great success! To our left, gotcha. Okay. Doesn't look like the convenience store. Oh god, the camera. This looks more like it. Ah, yes, I tried walking in, uh, in here earlier, didn't I? Goodies for me in this town. Harry Mason's Midlife Crisis, the game. Yes, I would like to override. Thank you. Thank you. First aid kit here. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually make use of that sidestep. Can I nick some money? Can I take some money? Won't let me take the money. Zero out of ten. I still have my PS1. I need to check to see if I have... Still have Silent Hill. I think I don't. Um, feel like finishing it now after 20 years. Do it. You owe it to yourself and to that poor PlayStation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So now this didn't... Well, it gave me a save point, but I don't exactly have any more keys. Let's go all the way back to the house. Gotta go, Steve. Work tonight. Have fun. No worries. Croft Rider, thank you very much for stopping by as long as you could. Have a good uh, shift today. And we'll speak to you on Thursday, hopefully. Take care. Have a good one. Winged bastard. Here we go. Here we go again. There is one lock. What does keys for eclipse mean? The red line on the map. That's got to be it then. I'm going on holiday, so I'll be traveling Thursday. But when uh, do you plan streaming Christmas trolley levels? Probably from December onwards, really. So you got time. 
Don't worry. Where are you going? Anywhere nice? Well, obviously, it'd be somewhere nice. It wouldn't be anywhere horrible. That would just be stupid. Wouldn't be much of a holiday, would it? <laughs> You're going home. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well, you have a lovely time, yeah? Stay safe. Have a safe trip. Ah, Lindsay Bell finally can sit on your arse. Fantastic. 12 bitty, Suzula. Thank you very much. Okay. So in theory, there should be a key around here somewhere. Let's try and find it first. Oh, Jesus. Is that someone's head? Oh, it's a dog's head. Well, did they get a three-pointer? I think they might have done. That's disgusting. Key of the Woodman. Oh. Would you say? Would you say? Health drink? Lots of health drinks. Stuff like this is easier in the later games because the protagonists turn their heads to look at items when nearby. Ah, yes they do. Right, let's head back to the old apartments. The old house, not apartment. Would I stream rebake again? Uh, no, because I've already, I've already done it, mate. I've already done it, mate. But other ones, sure. Oh, and a random side note. If anyone in the UK is interested in a, uh, purchasing a, a new microphone for their recordings or live streams or anything like that, this is going to be up for a sale soon. This is the microphone that's recorded pretty much all of my retrospectives um, three up from three onwards. And all my live streams and stuff. It's a bit banged up and like bit scuffed in a couple places where it's been in a holder but yeah um that's gonna be i don't know how much for yet but so uh, anyone's interested in the uk let me know is the mic edible sorry it is not ah oh, sonata thank you very much for the 10 bits there thank you <laughs> sorry to burst your bubble there cyan jim It's both um, USB and XLR, so if you ever want to upgrade to something like a proper audio interface in the future, you can do. And it's very good at rejecting noise. Not quite as good as this, obviously, but... Um, ow! But um, for anyone set up, it's going to be amazing. Harry Mason, out of breath, instantly, as soon as he steps into a house. Let me just save first before I go through this way. Nothing useful, the notepad there, mate! So this was the longest town puzzle in the game. Now you'll be getting lost in buildings instead. It's getting dark again. What's going on? Oh. 
Ooh, yeah, the music, it's... It's, uh, certainly spooky. Can everyone hear that? Turn it up just a smidge. Just going to double check all these corners of this garden. Ooh. Ten more bits will give you such a crick in the neck. Thank you, Sonata Dusk. Well, the limited draw distance really does a fantastic job of like really enhancing the fear because you can't see shit you can't see anything and I love it yeah Twin Peaks is a heavy inspiration for this game and stay down bad winged hell beast I don't know if there's a shortcut to reloading weapons, or do you have to do it through the menu every single time? You can reload with a button, I just can't remember which one. Oh my god, you can't see anything without the torch on. very flat for a hill. Pretty silent, though. <laughs> Cheers, Kev. Let's have a look at the buttons. Hmm. Silent plateau. It's the floppy hands as well, you know? Just makes the run extra weird. I'm afraid to use animos, ammo in these games, I usually just run by everything. Yeah, dude, same. I'm such a, conserv a con conservationist when it comes to ammunition in these games. It's like all the big weapons. Midwich and Elementary School. Thank you for the 10 bits there, Sonata. Uh, can you enter the bus? You can enter the bus next to school. Most people miss that. It's optional, but I think uh, there's there's Sith inside. Oh god, not the Sith! Now I'm just trying to find where that bus is. <laughs> there we go. The bus to learn of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Have you ever heard of Darth the Lesser the Burnt? <laughs> Should I take all these vitamin drinks? There's even a save point in here, fair enough. Bus. <laughs> a lebus. Uh, just started watching, but in case no one has told you, you can finish monsters off by standing over them when they're down and hitting X without aiming to do a finishing kick move. I did not know that, but thank you very much. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Get comfy. Get comfy. I 
There's a Silent Hill like inspired by Twin Peaks is called Deadly. Pre oh yeah, Deadly Premonition. I've heard of that. They made a second one f like over the la like it, fairly recently, like within the last five years recently. And it's supposed to be very cheesy and very much in keeping with Twin Peaks's weirdness. My favourite Silent Hill, hoping it's going well so far. It's going really well so far. Everyone in the chat's been very patient <laughs> with with me trying to get through and find where I need to go. But you know, so far I'm really enjoying it. I've played two already. Two's the only one that I've played. So I thought, as I'm in a bit of a Silent Hill mood at the moment, I'll go back and play through all of them. I feel like horror games, especially modern games, are almost afraid of silence. You know what I mean? Letting like true deafening silence be a thing in the game. Because it can be used to really frighteningly good effect. Moore, Ronaldo, Gordon, these must be the list of teachers. Or footballers. This is written in blood. 12 o'clock. Place with songs and sounds. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. Gonna have to read that again. A place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues, awakening at the silver guidepost. Twelve o'clock. Also written in blood. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beasts. Opening time's door to beckon prey. So this is definitely going to be a, an instance where Steve's going to have to write some shit down on an actual notepad. With, with pens and everything. Just like the good old days. Right. I have my pen. Let's write some shit down. Do, 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 do. It's probably not going to come into play at all, but you can't be too sure with this. So, let's go for this one so I can write that down. So, it'll be 5 p.m. Uh, dark plus hot plus silent. Plus door. So I'm just writing the key characteristic takeaways from this particular thing rather than the whole thing itself. The headphones connected to the wait, wrong game. Uh, 10 o'clock, Alchemy Lab. Lab. Oh, that's plus gold. Plus old. Sage water. Mmm, my favorite drink. And I have no idea if there's any of this is going to be handy at all to remember, or if this is going to come up, come up later. But no doubt, it probably will. So it's best to note this down just in case. So 12 p.m. Song and sound. Silver. Post. Thank you very much there for the 8 bits there, Sonata. Much appreciated. Order. Right. Okay. I have stuff written down. Again, no idea how this is going to affect this um, area in any way, but uh, we shall see. It's locked. <laughs> Every game is fear. Taking notes. Oh no!
He looks like a weird master of unlocking. <laughs> so far, it's uh, master of dogging. Wait, that came out wrong. Or did it? Does PayPal refresh the abo itself, or do I have to do shit? So weird, this is my first. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but yes, no, <laughs> possibly, I, I don't know. Okay, so that's the safe room, gotcha. Oh, okay. Hello, single digit frame rates. Oh, it's those evil fucking stabby children again. Get away. What's this? A silver moon. We don't have a silver moon just yet, and a gold something or other was there. Maybe that relates to the notes we took. Thank you for the 8 bits there, Sonata. Much love, my friend. Much your love. Curb stomp this motherfucker. Yeah. Take that, yes, spider bitch. There's a clock you can see in the courtyard, that's what the time routes refers to. Ah, cool. Ah! J -j 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 just fuck off, would you please? Hey kids, wanna learn a lesson? Life sucks. <laughs> do your homework. <laughs> this has been Harry Mason with How to Do Parenting. So where are we in the map? Ooh. So the teachers, there's a couple of teachers' rooms in the bathroom. Are oh, you talking about Twitch subscriptions? Oh, okay. This is not over. A friend in need. Man. <laughs> Man on poster. Um, that's entirely up to you. You have to tell Twitch to, um, resubscribe to the channel automatically, I think. You can tell it to do either do it on a recurring basis, or you can do it as a one-off, or you can gift. It's entirely up to you. Friendly looking man looking for hot singles in his area. Hopefully not from the other world. Thank you for the 8 bits there, Sonata. Ooh. Jammed. Can't get it open. <laughs> Fucking kids. <laughs> what are you doing in my school? Serious staple in Silent Hill. 80% of the doors are locked or jammed. Give him a swirly. <laughs> There'll be no swirlying here. Just gunshots to the face. Just 
hammering the use key against any of the stalls just in case I can go into them. But these rooms seem to be completely useless. <laughs> At least for now. This um, school was modelled after Kingdom Car Kindergarten Cop. Really? That's crazy. Those are thicker. There are some pretty thick ass radiators. I will give you that. And gun bullets. Perfect. What is this? Who are you? Who are you, ghost child that fell over? <laughs> okay. It sounded kind of like a doggy squeaky toy. I'm not the only one that thought that, right? I can't be. Can I? Oh, thank you very much, Sonata. Thank you for the 8 bits. Locked and jammed? It's locked and jammed! Not the jam! They wanted an affair, uh, authentic American school and that movie was their source. Well... Why settle for anything but perfection, I guess? <laughs> Nothing inside? I'll be the judge of that, Harry Mason! All children squeak like that, yes. I'm sure that's very, very true. <laughs> In one version of reality. Get off. Fucking kids. <laughs> Get out of the way. I'm Harry Mason, bitch. Oh, a door that isn't locked or jammed. Holy crap. Yeah, aim for the one that's right in front of you, Mr. Mason. Wait, what? Shit, I didn't realize I was that low on health. Tips! Harry can take out enemies that are lying on the floor by getting out the weapon ready mode and then hitting the action button. Harry will then kick or step on that enemy to, enemy to kill it. Right, thanks. <laughs> Continue? That was me just being careless with my health. Don't you worry, we haven't got- we haven't lost that much progress. Yeah, that's just me not paying attention to it. I know about the whole flashing red scenario. Ah, oh, fuck! No! Whee! Give it a kick. When in doubt, kick it out. There we go. Lush. Yo, thank you for the 8 bits there, Sonata Dust. Much appreciated. I mean, I can just about see if I do that, but then again, you can't watch what I'm doing. It's your typical American classroom. Who is your daddy and what does he do? We 
not going to need a map of the 50, 54 states. Is it 54? I'm probably going to show my lack of knowledge. A lack of American knowledge. We're getting that wrong. You? <laughs> Why does that say you? Question mark? Do I look like a llama to you? Fifty first, fifty one. You and you gotta help us. Ah, fuck. Everyone hated that. Fifty states, one district. So you're telling me it's like a two girls, one cup situation. Gotcha. Kinky. In a disgusting way. Uh... Occupied? Housekeeping? Cool. We're never going there again. <laughs> Get off, you weird, weird little troll. And stab. There we go. He does it with all the urgency of, like, someone who's just literally stamping out a cockroach, doesn't he? Not like another freaking otherworldly being. <laughs> oh, if you turn the torch off, it will make Harry less accurate in the dark? Well, I guess that's kind of a given, really, isn't it? But that's quite cool that they included that detail. It's unlocked. Oh my goodness, we've unlocked a door, everybody. Ugh. Out of my sight. We just casually kick these abominations to the floor. Harry is too chat to be frightened. Is Harry the original hot survival horror giga chad, like before Chris Redfield? Got like absolutely roided up. No running or playing in the locker room. So what happens if we do either? That's it. Oh god. What's gonna jump out of me? Well, that didn't turn out to be anything. Although... I can't help but feel that I'm supposed to respond to that particular noise that's in there. Oh god. Oh, you haven't played Silent Hill either, Daniel. Oh, wait. That's what's moving. Okay. It's just a cat. But is it going to be a fake out jump scare? No! They didn't kill the cat, did they? No! F fucking bastards! How dare you? How dare you kill a cat? How dare you? Poor cat. We freed it only for it to get fucking eaten. <laughs> fucking prick. Did you kill my cat? That I've only just found. It's technically not mine, but I don't care. 
All those dead doggos, and it's the one cat. Because it was still alive! Get off the detective. Fucking cat killing bitches. And obviously dogs too. You could say he's Nyan longer with us. Oh dear. Oh dear. I will avenge the puss, Mad Rat. I will try my best. I have now the John Wick level backstory motivation in order to fulfill my quest. Screw for my missing daughter and looking, looking for her. It's the cat I have to avenge now. <laughs> Is that a hand? It is. Yeah, it's an old man's hand. It refers to the old uh, notes there. And old man hand is going to be the 10 p.m. one. Let's give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yes, perfect joke. It's the- yeah, it's thing, isn't it? It looks very thingy. Ah, yes, it really is an American school. Roro Octo. Welcome. Have you seen a little girl, short black hair, just turned seven last month? Come back to this very place. Statue of hands. It's cool that he does um, mark that sort of stuff down, JD. J Dalstar. Jadalstar. Distilled water. No reason to take it. I might need a reason, Mr. Mason. I shall take the chemical. I'll take the chemical, but not the fucking distilled water. What's with the sounds? <laughs> this is a bop. <laughs> oh yeah, I can really see this hitting the fucking clubs, can't you? What is the, uh... The fluid that we have picked up. Concentrated hydrochloric acid found in the- Ah, uh, ah, uh, I reckon. Do you have to burn the hand away? Oh, oh. Score one for me and my tiny brain. I will take the gold medallion. Now we need to source a se uh, silver one, right? You could say it's been disarmed. I could. Get the devil Still good. I explored this part of the school yet? No, I don't think I have. Yo, thank you for the 8 bits there, Sonata.
Uh, oh yeah. Harry can't see it, so why can he pick it up, you know? Okay, <laughs> that's quite cool. It's that fucking squeaking ghost again. Where are you, squeaking apparition? God damn it. Yes, I want to look at the map boss and being molested. No, fuck off. Casper's <laughs> younger brother. <laughs> Touching my special area. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Knife-Wielding Psychopaths. Oh, okay. We're here now. Cool. Excellent. Anastasia Pants, hello! Yes, this very much is Silent Hill. How are you doing? In Ari Village, Ethan is looking for his daughter and Silent Hill, Harry's looking for his daughter. Could they maybe team up and look for their daughters? Maybe. Pig. Pig. Apparently. I'm good, how are you? I'm not too bad, not too bad. Exploring Silent Hill, you know. Seeing what's what. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? A rocket has fallen into Polish territory from Russia. Oh, for fuck's sake, Russia. Stop being Russia! You, you Russian pricks. There's a music room we've not explored. Okay. Considering that we're in NATO, this doesn't bode well. Well, hopefully then, if they see that, then NATO's gonna retaliate, right? Finally. Yeah, I'm not fucking surprised, Chris. Oh, a piano room, because of course. Can't have a survival horror game on the PlayStation without a piano room. It's written in blood. Tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, play, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. All rising, everybody. Okay, so first came... Greedy pelican. And then afterwards... It was white. Okay. Then came the silent dove. Flying above the pelican as far as he could. Okay. For those of you wondering what my notes look like, that's my chicken scratch. 
for all the things so far. There we go. See how well that bodes. Oh no, there's more! Fucking... the raven flies in higher than the dove. Raven... which is... Higher than... And then I've got the swan. Glides in to find a peaceful um, spot next to another bird. Another bird. Uh, swan... Does whatever he wants. Then comes in the crow. Coming quickly to stop. Yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver award? Okay. Napping. So who's going to be the key... the secret? Silver reward, okay. Reward for the silver thing, my Bob. Let's see how we do. So, uh, there's one classroom we haven't been in. Okay. Yeah, that was the room with the cats. Rest in peace. say it's quite nice that you can actually move and shoot in this game, you know? Compared to Resident Evil where it's pretty much static. Cut. Zoo ah uh, nine one nine. Cut. I wonder if they have any bearing on anything. Or if they're just there for show. Um, I didn't play the full thing, no. I was only bringing that up for, um, Derby Month. I might pick it up again some point, for sure. <laughs> As a little treat to myself. Wolf. Get away, ghost. Uh, just asking because I finished the full thing on Sunday and I want to know whether you had any bugs. Uh, we got as far as the entrance to the Hall of Seasons, didn't we? And then we stopped. Just watching the trolley on Lara Croft Cooler World. Nice. Well, my um, video on it, or... Indeed. Well, this door here was locked, wasn't it? I wonder if we can unlock it now. It's unlocked. Fantastic. <laughs> And in the balls. Done. Bosh. Had to take a break. Not solved all of the puzzles. We got the gold talisman from the hand we disintegrated with some acid. Now we're just working out the rest. But uh, no, no hints just yet. If I get stuck, I will let you know. 
Yo, thank you for the eight bits there, Sonata. Thank you so much. Are those like ghost children or something? Why do they squeak like dogs? Like dog toys. It's it was your video. Oh, cool. Thank you, Remuel. Thank you for watching. There's going to be one on Sabatu's Tomb Raider 1. Um, soon. Very soon. I finished the voiceover. And also the bonus episode. For anyone who happens to be supporting me on YouTube, by the way. Um, I'm doing like... I plan on doing more of these. But I'm essentially doing like a spoiler-filled version of Maka Trellivision. Um, I didn't do one for Cooler World because there really wasn't really anything to spoil, but for Sabatu's Tomb Raider 1, exclusive to you guys, it's going to be a nice little extra for you to uh, sink your teeth into. We love watching heavy breathing. The door is jammed! Oh no! Infirmary. Okay, cool. Gotta go, Mad Rat. No worries. Thank you for the five bits and for tuning in for what you could, my friends. You take care of yourself, yeah? What's the spoiler thing again? Oh, it's basically just a um, a spoiler um, talk version of a television episode. I did it for uh, Mists... Not Mists of Avalon. What was it called? Uh, Movement in the Monastery. And... Um, I'm doing another one for Sabatu's Tomb Raider 1, so if you happen to be a channel member, uh, of member of the Macho Broccoli Club tier, uh, that's what you've got to look forward to as well. Uh, I just want to call in for a few minutes. Um, GG now, no worries. Watch, I'm uh, going to watch The Jungle. Well, I'm a celebrity. Fair enough. You enjoy, my friend. Thank you for the 10 bits. I will see you on the next stream, hopefully, on Thursday. Good line, no? It's no obligation. It's just a nice little extra for people who do um, support me on that. Ooh. I didn't see this before. This looks horrifying. Picture of a door. Don't know who drew it, but it's certainly in bad taste. <laughs> That's an understatement. Can't wait for Sabatu's TR2. I need to see um, what he'll plan. What new <laughs> pain he'll inflict on me. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. For sure. Unfazed Harry, yes again. Yes again, I ask you, what the fuck? I didn't unlock that door? What the fuck? Would you have that in your living room, Roro? The hands are stopped at 12. I know it's a trolley, but what is Sabatu's Tomb Raider 1? Ah! You will have to see when the video comes out. But in a nutshell, it's essentially, um, on the surface, it's a... It's a remixed version of Tomb Raider 1. That's all I will say.
<laughs> yes, and the person who made it is called Sabatu. Yes, 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 yes. So these classrooms we can't get into. Okay. For sure. Actually, there's one room downstairs I forgot to go back into, didn't I? After I died. Yeah, I can imagine something cool, or something's going to have to be done with it later. I just walked in. I just got fucking kicked over a ghost. Get out of the way, bitch! <laughs> I don't think- I do own this on PS1. I think the furthest I've made was getting past the school. Ah, fair enough. So this will be a journey for you too, then. So what's to do with this bird? I'm guessing it's something to do with the drawings in the classroom. It must be, right? Gonna head off and try and sleep off this cold. Oh, I didn't realise you were ill. Thank you for joining for what you could, Suzu um, Suzula. And stay down. And thank you for the eight bits there, Sonata. Ah, shit. Get off. Right, okay, let's reload that. School and hospital, do you, hospital are your favourite locales? Fair enough. Got a lot to look forward to later. The hospital's always the creepiest, I find. Out of any of the Silent Hills I've, given, I've played. I'm an easy man, I see Silent Hill, Hill content, I watch it. Well, welcome aboard, my friend. Hope you're doing okay. You? <laughs> Very accusatory, isn't it? I was going to say, <laughs> even downpour and shattered memories and homecoming and book of memories and... You're currently downloading two, three, four? Alright, okay, where from? Make sure if you're playing two that you install the enhanced edition, um, fan patches. It's honestly worth it. 100%. Oh, I thought Homecoming everyone considers to be the worst. Am I mis misunderstanding that? Abandonware. Yay! Nice. That's where I got my copy from. Rest in peace, cat. There is nothing inside. Uh, keep in mind that Silent Hill 4 is technically not abandoned where since they re-released it on GOG. Not that I care, screw Konami. <laughs> that's true, that's true.
<laughs> Harry's reaction to the sign. Don't tell me what to do. Starts running all over the place. Hello there, Relic Hunter. Welcome. Here's me. Welcome to the episodes of Steve Tries to Figure Out a Silent Hill game for the first time. Uh, so there's a piano, so there's clearly something I've got to do, right? I did have the Enhanced Edition for Silent Hill 2, but I lost it ages ago. You lost it? You lost a version that you can download from a website for free? Or are you thinking of something else? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Hang on. I now have this as part of my collection. I thought I'd be a real Silent Hill 2 fan and actually get a physical copy of the PlayStation 2 version. This is the two-disc special edition, which comes with a making of DVD as well as the actual game. I got it off of eBay for a not too stupid price. They're getting more expensive, though. Ah, that's what he meant by that. No worries, Gunsy boy. Oh, the... Wait, the piano's open now. Oh, I've heard about this puzzle. I've heard about this fucking puzzle. Oh, so this... Oh, shit. This is to do with that thing on the wall with the birds, isn't it? Apparently this is one of the hardest puzzles in the entirety of the series to work out. So let's see... Let's see if I can work this out. So bear with me, everybody. For, for, for the ease of use, I am going to take photos of this. <laughs> so I'd have to keep going backwards and forwards. Right, so going by the information I have in front of me... What the fuck? <laughs> um, there is no separate puzzle difficulty. Um, Silent Hill 1 is just as difficult as it, as it is. Okay, right, I'm just sort of getting in my head which notes go with what. Play the James Bond thing. Could you imagine if that actually was the case? So those two keys there don't work. So that key works, that works, that works, that works, that works, and that works. Those keys don't... Oh, that one works, okay. You have a serious headache. Okay, I'm sorry. The Silent Hill 3 puzzles on hard are incredibly unfair. I've heard that one of them you need actual knowledge of Shakespeare in order to solve. Okay, so the riddle as it goes, if I just go back to my pictures, and feel free to play along at home as well. 
is the tale of birds without a voice first flew in the greedy pelican eager to, with the reward white wings flailing then came the silent dove flying beyond beyond the pelican as far as he could okay then uh, a raven flies in higher than the dove so that's gonna be a black key isn't it because that's a black bird just to show what he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally out comes the crow, another black key, coming quickly to stop to a stop, yawning and then napping. Right. How in the fuck am I supposed to get this? I have no clue what one corresponds to what one. Okay, so is it going to be that one, and then this one, and then that one? Um, fuck, okay. And then I've got a swan somewhere. Maybe that one? And then fucking... No. Shit. Okay, let's try it again. Is it that one? Is it that one? I don't know. You've missed an important clue in the text, it seems. What? Th uh, okay, um, I'll reread it. I don't understand it. A tale of birds without a voice. Oh my god. Okay, is it the duff keys? Am I supposed to press the ones that don't make a noise? As in they make the kind of clicking sound. Right. Okay. So... First through... Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. The greedy pelican. So the biggest blood st stain is this one here. But that has a voice. To oh, for fuck's sake. No, that goes out the window as well. Um... What? Okay. First flew the greedy pelican eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Greedy pelican. Then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. Okay. A raven flies in higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. So that possibly could be the pelican, right? Finally comes out a crow quickly to a stop, yawning and the napping. I'm trying to remember, remember like the keyboards as well, because clearly that's got to be like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, is it that? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm purposefully not looking at the chat just in case you guys... Not just yet. E. Is that... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on. That's a C, isn't it? C, D... Who's Amanda? Nope. So that was a C. That's a C. It's been a while since I've done music, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, greedy Pelican. Could be. What the fuck? So f first with a greedy pelican. So C, D, E, F, G. Okay. The white keys are not sharp, so... F oh, have they reversed them? Have they reversed the notes? So the white keys are the black keys and the black keys are the white keys. Oh... 
Oh man. What? <laughs> what the fuck? How was anyone supposed to s sort this? <sighs> oh, damn it. Well, clearly it isn't, otherwise I would get it. First flew the greedy pelican. So that's got to be a G, right? One, C, D, E, F, G. White keys are not sharps or flats. Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't need a degree in music for solving this, though. <laughs> what? I, it's the broken keys. Yeah, I've got that. I got the fact that it's the broken keys. So G I've just pressed, and then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican, pelican as far as he could. <laughs> okay, I'm getting conflicting information. I'm from a lot uh, of... Okay, let's just start this again. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing the color of the birds obviously means that it's a key. So the color of the bird is the corresponding key. The only thing that I'm thinking of is that what denotes it being on what position of the keyboard. So, okay, so I'm guessing everyone's going G for the greedy pelican, C, D, E, F, G, and then came the silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. Right. Um, a raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that it can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. C, D, E, F, G... Finally out comes the crow, coming quickly to stop yawning and then napping. I fucking give up at the moment. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I don't understand this riddle. I really don't understand this fucking riddle. Apart from the fact that it's telling me the bird colours, I do not know where it's supposed to be giving me... clues on where to put my fingers on the keyboard. Probably a good thing to mark all the broken keys with the sticky notes on my monitor. Yeah, could do at this rate. So is it... I had it in my head, and I think the chat threw me off. I had it in my head, it's the, the bird colour and the fact that they have no sound. That, that it's all the keys, basically, that make no noise.
yeah, the f there's fingerprints with the blood is, but I don't know how that yet corresponds to how I'm supposed to solve this. Um, I don't have any post-its, unfortunately. In all the blood, it doesn't matter. Hmm. First flew in the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. First through the flew in the greedy pelican. Is that meant to be the G key? Because it's greedy. That's my logic. Is that supposed to be it? Or is it the first key? So that was my logic. I thought that was going to be this key. And then, then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as it could. I think it's just about colour, no sound, and then the birds flying, realising what keys meant in criteria. G is the last broken key. And you need others further down. Right. <sighs> My brain hurts. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Right, so for the love of Demon God, war. Oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna write this down again so we can work this shit out. So, first through the greedy pelican. So the pelican is a big old P. Right here. Big old P. Then came the silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could go. So that would be the dove. Silent dove. Somewhere there. A raven flew higher than the dove just because it could, so it's going to be just above the D the dove or whatever, and then a swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. So does that mean that I need to put it in a key... A Starbucks, Jonah. I need to put it on a key where there's a broken one for the swan. Right, so just for the sake of my own sanity, right, so that's... <sighs> Here we go. Uh... Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Okay, yes, so that's all the white keys. So that is a no. And that is a yes. That is also a yes. So is that. And that is a yes as well. Okay. <sighs> So that's what I've written down. I've written down basically all of the the broken and working keys. I have overrun. Holy shit. I need to finish this up. Okay. 
No, no, no. That's it's all. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So my thing is. That one first. And then. This one next. Um. Oh, f fuck this. <laughs> fuck this! <laughs> uh, it's only the ones without noise. Right, fine. Let's try again. Okay. Um, C, D... That is C, isn't it? Yeah, C's there. D, E, F, G. Greedy Pelican. I reckon... The next one is here, and then this one, and then that one. No, because that didn't do anything either. Oh, and then there's a crow, isn't there? Finally comes a crow coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. What? Where's the where's there a crow? I've I've got three keys up here that Oh cocking fuck. <laughs> ah that's the key you meant to redditor. Right, okay, let's try this again. Woohoo! Right. Okay, here we go. Okay. No, I fucked it up already. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. That one there, that one there, then that one there, then that one there. No. No. It. I, Am I am I going left to right? Is that my is that my problem? Okay, so let's do that again. As high as it could go. Then comes a crow. And then another bird. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh my god, how did anybody solve that? Holy fuck. Wow! Oh my god! Sorry for the profuse, like, loud swearing. Right, I need to go and find a save point now. Wow! Holy crap! I couldn't have done that without you guys, honestly. But serious, like, thank you for being so patient, honestly. I... <laughs> I felt my mind slowly leaving my body there. Okay, holy shit. We have done it. We have got both medallions now. Sorry, everybody. Wow, I was not prepared for that to completely, completely stump me like it did. Oh, my good lord. Wow, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Right, cool. Um, unfortunately, going to have to call this a night, so we're going to have to take this back to the chat room, shall we? Holy fuck. Wow. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> I don't quite know how to finish this. I feel like I've just done one of the most in like intense mental gymnastics of any game that I've played in recent memory. That that piano puzzle it deserves its its um reputation. I think something someone said in the chat that there was something perhaps maybe lost in translation. But um yeah, even so I, I knew kind of what they were going for. I could guess what they were trying to, trying to say with the whole white birds and black birds thing being white and black keys. And then I eventually clicked with the whole press the piano keys with no voice. But I did admit I did get a bit confused but by my own logic and then reading what people were putting in the chat because they were trying, everyone was trying to be so helpful and so thank you. I, I so thank you for that. But um, it, was the, it, was, it was kind of the in-between stuff. And yeah, I was overthinking it because I thought, hang on a minute, do I need to have some kind of like knowledge of musical theory? Is there a clue in like the greedy pelican being G? You know, as in the, as the, the letter that you start with? On the note on the keyboard? But yes, we got through there in the end and we are definitely going to be picking this up again on Tuesday next week. That's for damn sure. And hopefully we'll get some through some more of the game too. Um, but in the meantime... Um, we'll find somebody to raid and um, we'll leave you lovelies to your evening or day or whatever time it is for you. Oh, thank you so much. I'd love to know what it actually says in, in, in Japanese so I could see it on what Google Translate. I'd be interested to know how it translates. Whew. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. And thank you for um, being patient. We <laughs> love watching you suffer. No worries. Let's find someone to raid because I know we've overrun by a bit, unfortunately. Um... So let's find someone to raid and leave it to your day. Who have we got? Who have we got raiding? Hey, babe. Okie dokie. Loading. We have got... Plugin Fro... Oh, Plugin, Plugin Frodo is doing nondescript midnight. Trizcat streaming. Oh, let's return the favor. She stopped by earlier, so let's return the favor and raid you guys into stri um, Trizcat stream. Um, and then make sure to say hi and stick around and show us some love and support as well. But no, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for being so patient and helping me through that puzzle. That was insanely hard for me. So in the meantime, stay safe, stay awesome. I'll see you guys on this next stream on Thursday. We'll be continuing our um, Delka's Kitten Island Adventure playthrough um, level set. And I'll see you on the next stream. Have a good one.